Okay, so now, and I spoke a little bit earlier about this, but now I want to talk about Dalton's atomic theory. He's got five postulates or five statements, okay? And he did this a long time ago, and only two of those five statements need to be corrected slightly. So, 200 plus years ago, okay? Dalton's atomic theory. In 1808, John Dalton explained the three laws just discussed with his atomic theory. Okay, today we refer to it as Dalton's atomic theory. Now, that atomic theory includes the following five concepts. Okay, five statements, five postulates, five concepts, whatever you want to call it, there's five listings here that he makes. Okay, number one, each element is composed of tiny indestructible particles called atoms. Now remember, this is like, atoms is a new word, okay? This is like he's kind of saying, hey, there's something there that this repeatable unit that cannot be broken down further is called the atom. So number one, each element is composed of tiny indestructible particles called atoms. Number two, the atoms of a given element are identical the atoms of different elements are different, okay? Concept number three, compounds are formed when atoms of different elements are combined. A given compound always has the same relative numbers and types of atoms. That's the law of definite proportions, right? So let me read number three. Well, I ran out of time there, but number three is the law of definite proportions being kind of, he's summarizing the law of definite proportions. Now in number four, it says chemical reactions involve the reorganization of atoms, but the atoms themselves are not changed during the process, okay? This is, um, he's hinting at the law of conservation of mass, okay? Whatever you start with on the left-hand side with the reactants and you rearrange everybody, you have to have the same number and types of atoms on the right that you started with, law of conservation of mass. Number five, atoms cannot be divided any further, okay? Well, while we have number five in front of us, we do know that this one is not correct. Atoms can be divided further, right? Protons, neutrons, electrons. Also, on the previous page, if I say the word isotopes, Okay, that should help you maybe hone in on one of one, two, and three that needs to be fixed. Okay, I'm going to talk about that right now. 200 years later, Dalton's atomic theory only has two modifications that must be made. In step two above, atoms of a given element are not always identical. Okay, we can have atoms of the same element, and some atoms have different numbers of neutrons. Okay, this is called isotopes. We'll talk about isotopes uh, when we, as we move further through the course. Now, in step five, this is one I just mentioned. In step five above, atoms can be divided further into the three subatomic particles, protons, electrons, and neutrons. All right, so let's write that down so we have it in our notes. Proton, electron, and neutron. All right. Okay, so let's move to a new page here. And this new page is, there's no notes here. I'm just kind of letting you guys know that in our next video, right, video number two for section two, we're going to talk about some early experiments to characterize the atom, all right? That's coming up next. Stick around. Uh, this is section two, video number two, coming up next.